Here's the new HD3030 Professional Dissolved Oxygen Meter by Trans Instruments. The new meter features automatic temperature, salinity, and atmospheric compensation of dissolved oxygen at present input. It also features 99 data memory with real time and date recording, backlight display in dark situation, and online data logging with optionally purchased PC data connection kit. This meter is specially designed for aquaculture monitoring or field testing. The meter comes in a hard carrying case where user is able to carry anywhere in the field. Unlock the case by lifting the red latch. Let us run through the items in the package. We have here the main meter, a submissible probe, a bottle of electrolyte, Strange set, two spare membrane cap with O-ring for probe maintenance, four AAA batteries, and an operational manual. Please read the manual carefully before you begin. Set up the meter according to your preferred setting for the following. The unit of measurement for temperature reading, Auto off setting preferably set to 120 minutes. Atmospheric pressure of the measured altitude. Salinity of the measured liquid. Time and date for data recording. Open the battery cover behind and place four AAA batteries according to its polarity. Connect the probe connector to the meter. Switch on the meter. We can see the main display for DO reading. Press the percentage PPM button to toggle between DO in percentage or PPM. The temperature reading is displayed just below the DO reading. Memory counter is on the right side. Below are the time or date displayed alternatively. The meter is able to illuminate display in dim or low light situation. Simply press both the hold and OK button and backlight will be switched on for 10 seconds. Let us take a look at the DO probe. For long-term storage, the DO probe comes without the electrolyte. The probe guard is loosely installed to allow filling of the electrolyte for the first time. This is to ensure air can escape during the feeding process. Open the electrolyte refill pothole with a crosshead screwdriver. Careful to the retained O-ring and washer with the screw. Now fill the chamber fully with electrolyte with sensor tilted upwards. When the chamber is fully filled, tilt the sensor to horizontal position and tighten the probe guard. Replace the plastic screw together with O-ring and washer to the electrolyte refill port till O-ring is compressed. Do not over tighten. This DO probe is a polarographic type electrochemistry sensor. The sensor needs to be fully polarized on first use. Preset the auto off feature to 120 minutes. Please read the operation manual for more details. Wait for at least 20 to 30 minutes to allow full polarization for the first time and whenever new electrolyte or membrane are installed. On subsequent use, whenever the meter is switched off for more than 10 minutes, wait for 5 to 10 minutes for polarization to take place before calibration or measurement. Avoid switching off the unit if a series of tests are to be made. This is to save time so you do not have to polarize the sensor every time when the unit is switched on. 
After polarization, we can now proceed to perform a calibration. Do note that DO readings are affected by the atmospheric pressure and salinity of the liquid. Please read the operational manual to preset the altitude or pressure of the environment and salinity of the liquid so the readings can be automatically compensated for instantaneous display. Always calibrate the sensor in air before a series of tests. Calibration should be performed in an environmental temperature of not more or less than 10 degrees Celsius of the water temperature. Example, if the water temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, then the air temperature should be between 5 or 25 degrees Celsius during calibration. After polarization, press the cal button to activate calibration. The display will show reading in percentage while the ready sign flashes. When the ready sign stops flashing or when the reading does not deviate after 10 seconds, Press the OK button to confirm. Display will show 100% reading and calibration is complete. Press the percentage PPM button to switch PPM reading. If the sensor fails to calibrate or display error, perform a check in the maintenance section. We can now proceed to take a measurement in the water. As all polarographic sensors consume oxygen on the surface of the membrane during measurement, the sensor must be constantly stirred or jiggled up and down to refresh water on the surface of the membrane. Otherwise, reading will not be accurate. When reading is stabilized during stirring and DO readings stay constant for 10 seconds or more, you can record the reading. Press the hold button to freeze display for recording. Press again to release for another measurement. Press the save button to store current reading to memory. The display memory counter will flash momentarily. The meter is able to store up to 99 data with time and date. To recall memory data, press and hold the recall button till REC flashes on screen. Press the arrow button to scroll up or down to navigate between data. Press exit to return to measuring mode. Maintenance procedures for HD3030. The DO membrane is a delicate film and can be punctured easily. When readings are unstable or fails to read, the membrane must be replaced. After a prolonged period of measurement, about 50 hours of measurement, the electrolyte in the sensor chamber will require replacement. Unscrew the probe guard. With the use of a pen knife, separate the membrane cap from the probe. Unscrew the electrolyte pothole and drain the electrolyte completely. Check if the anode and cathode sensor are tarnished. If it is tarnished, rub the sensor using only jewelry polishing cloth to polish the sensor. Be careful not to use sandpaper as it will damage the surface. Replace with a new membrane cap to fully seat it on the probe head. Replace the probe guard till it touches the membrane but not fully tighten. This is to allow air to escape during the refilling of electrolyte. Fill the electrolyte chamber with fresh electrolyte. Tighten the probe guard and close the port hole with the screw and O-ring. If the sensor is polished to remove tarnish, wait overnight to stabilize the sensor. Otherwise, error will occur due to static charges on the surface. 
If sensor is not polished, switch on meter and wait for 30 minutes before proceeding to calibration in air. That is all for the brief introduction to the HD3030 Dissolved Oxygen Meter.